I will be glad if I see tens in all the rooms as an indication that you can hear the translation quite well. Okay, so we have this session targeted for Spanish-speaking and English-speaking rooms, mostly the United States, Colombia, and other countries in this region. So we work exclusively for you. Who likes this idea? Put a plus in the chat. It's me, Ivan Paluyanchik, financial GDI. Everything is fine with the Spanish speaking chat. A few words about myself. I started investing in 2014. Investing in bank deposits. I started this investing unconsciously. So I read a book and I saw some information. I need to set aside 10%. And then gradually I started to learn about other proposals. And then in 2016, I learned about the Academy of Private Investor Andrei Havratov, I started to learn from him. And since 2016, I've been investing as a conscious investor. And quite recently, I started to do it as a professional. And this is the reason I took the Invest Consultant Training God course, got a certificate of qualified investor in the Russian Federation. And since 2017, I've been actively investing into cryptocurrencies, blockchain. I bought my blockchain, first blockchain in 2017, whereas the lowest price I bought it was 3,500. In the chat, please put it down, the price, you bought it the lowest price, you bought Bitcoin. Put down the number in the chat, please. I read the chats. Give me the numbers of the lowest price you bought your Bitcoins at. If you didn't buy your Bitcoin, Put down zero or minus. We have Denny's who bought it at 11,200, 11,200. We have Tom with no Bitcoins. We have Joss. One Deepen who bought it at 29,000, 30,000. And there are people with no Bitcoins. What does it mean? It means that you badly understand or don't understand at all cryptocurrencies. Hopefully, you all have CIU tokens, and today we will study a number of questions. Okay, well done. Next slide, please. And let's talk about crypto market in depth. And I will dwell on it. And since today, this is a growing developing industry. And today, it is represented not only by Bitcoin and other tokens, but it includes other industries, other sectors, such as mining, 
What is mining? Mining is the production of tokens and keeping the blockchain functional. Look, there is a car market and for cars, so cars require petrol and therefore there is fossil fuel extraction industry and mining is the industry which supports the livelihoods of the crypto industry since there are miners who mine bitcoin there are special specialists or experts which support functionality of servers where different nodes websites wallets exchanges allocated and the relevant data. Blockchain is a chain of data which are constantly recorded and each entry in this chain gets into a chain and they are recorded one by one. But now we will not give a deep dive into the terminology but have a general session so mining an entire industry and defi so decentralized finance financed financing that is provided to any entity any company which is responsible for this money and it is supervised by some regulators it controls you so that you are not involved in some fraudulent activities. It monitors that there are no money laundering and centralized finance is regulated by some laws, codes, regulations, some agencies, whereas there are decentralized finance, DeFi, and this is another very popular and developing trend. Why? Because all the transactions are regulated by smart contracts, by a simple algorithm, by mathematical algorithm. And when the conditions are met, then the transaction is affected. And there are decentralized exchanges where no one checks or verifies a client. No one asks where money comes from, what they do. There are simple rules, simple math. If it is this way, it is this way. And due to these simple terms and conditions, we may convert one token into another or use a token as a collateral and uh, instead get some assets or fiat money. So this is the entire industry with various decentralized platforms, uh, exchanges and wallets. And there is another industry called NFT getting more and more popular they are not repeated in the chain it's like the antique goods quite similar to it or some unique data some unique items which could not be repeated like diamonds rough diamonds have their serial number they are unique registered and tokens are registered and are unique. And you may see it as identity verification or digitalization of some, a simple example. A photographer, a cameraman takes a picture and while it is in his camera, it is unique. It is the only one. But after uploading it to the network, it could be copy-pasted and used for any purposes. 
and it's not unique anymore. There is the first original picture and all the others are copies. And how can you distinguish a copy from an original? Whereas NFT token is not duplicated and is not replaced. If there is such a picture as an NFT token, only the owner of this token may see this picture. It's quite similar to the antique market when there is one unique thing and there is no copy. And there is an entire market trading with exchanges, banks, traders, dealing with crypto. And our global unit pay is the so-called crypto bank, which supports and works with cryptocurrencies. There is the Binance, Unitax exchange. They are entities which specialize in trading. And there are private traders, YouTube channels. Various YouTube channels. Which run data on trading and provide education. Whereas there are different applications, games on blockchain or some other functions where blockchain technologies are used. And there is the method to raise money. For instance, to raise some money, you may get in contact with a business angel, a large investor, or you may issue your to token and raise capital through ICO, STO, and other formats of capital raising to implement your business strategy. And look, there are a lot of other domains, and this is only the tip of the iceberg. Please tell me if it is clear to all of you that crypto industry is very wide, extensive, and it has a lot of methods to make money, to make income. If you understand that this is an extensive, complicated ecosystem, give me five in the chat. This is a comprehensive, very extensive ecosystem. In the Spanish chat, I understand only figures. If there are any questions, then I will ask our interpreters to translate your questions into the Russian chat. Okay, great. You all understand that blockchain industry is very wide and diverse. And the stock market is composed of stocks of different companies where all the businesses, all the projects, and everything I told you about is represented on the market as tokens. Token is a prototype of stock on the stock market. These tokens either get up in price or get down, depending on the situation. And accordingly, if we look at the entire market as such, not the separate industry that makes up this market, but the entire crypto market as such. If you watched my previous webinars, what is the amount of money this market has? In the chat, please put it down. So all this can be found on the website CoinMarketCap. Everyone wishes our token to be listed there. There is the website CoinMarketCap. I call it the Wikipedia of blockchain industry, where there is information about different tokens, projects, exchanges, and etc. And there you will find the statistics of how many tokens there are when it was released, 
what is the number, which exchanges it is uh, listed. And the website CoinMarketCap includes all this information. So could you please tell me the approximate capitalization of the crypto market? So any ideas? 2.5 billion. So actually 2.5 trillion US dollars. This is the overall market capitalization. Two point, yes, 2.5 billion. So the overall crypto market capitalization is 2.5 trillion, whereas one company, Apple, has the same capitalization. Its value is equal to the value of the entire crypto market. If you understand that crypto industry compared to the stock market is very small and only starts its development. The entire crypto market in its value is very similar to the valuation of Apple company. And crypto market, the whole crypto market is like a very small part of the stock market. It only started its development. Okay, so if you understand this, please put one in the chat. If you imagine this market and it is represented by different tokens, and the first one is Bitcoin, the second one is Ethereum, and almost daily the situation changes if you go to the coin market cap. And if you look at this market and this 2.5 trillion US dollars is represented by this diagram and the largest dominant share it belongs to Bitcoin, almost 42% share. And for you to know that in 2013, Bitcoin, Bitcoin's share was almost the entire market, almost 95% of the market. Whereas now it is only 42%. It does not mean that it is worse or better. It means that on the market there are more and more projects, tokens, companies. It means that the market develops, market grows, and not due to Bitcoin, but other uh, tokens, other domains. So uh, Bitcoin originated in 2009 Ethereum started in 2013, 2015. Some tokens came up only two, three years ago. Our crypto unit blockchain started only half a year ago. Compared to many tokens, we are still to grow more ahead. Okay. If you look at the entire market as a pie, you will see that Bitcoin accounts for 42% share, Ethereum for another 18%, and the remaining 35% is occupied by another 99 um, currencies. And the trend is that Bitcoin is getting less prominent and the market grows much faster than Bitcoin. Therefore, if you invest in Bitcoin and the whole market, you will open the relevant charts. You will see that Bitcoin grows by 10%, whereas the overall crypto market grows by 15% because there is the development of other companies. If you understand that 
so if you understand how that the market develops faster and its yield is higher than one Bitcoin, put a plus in the chat. Bitcoin develops and there is all the rest. And all this market together combined develops much faster than Bitcoin alone. Why? Because everyone knows about Bitcoin and many people have already bought it, but quite few people know about other tokens. And by the way, look, some people in our chats have no Bitcoins in their portfolio, which means that it's senseless to ask you to tell me 10, 15 cryptocurrencies. I entered this market in 2017 and I would actually call the first 20 and um, may make some mistakes as they change a lot. And the conclusion we come to based on all this, if you simply go and buy Bitcoin if you have no Bitcoin yet. Consider buying it any form because it is the future. And if today you have no Bitcoin, it's quite similar that yesterday you had no internet. And I hope that we all have smartphones and internet. Therefore, if you want to stay trendy tomorrow, you must have this cryptocurrency. If you buy Bitcoin only, alone, you will cover 42% of the market. And, your, and the market will grow faster than the growth of your Bitcoin. And therefore, the wider coverage is, the better it is. And in this diagram, you see that 95% of the entire market is top 100 cryptocurrencies. If you have them, you almost cover 99% of the entire market, 90, 95% of the entire market. And it's like shooting a target. You have a target, this round target, and you will shoot. And this small uh, round target of 42% or 95%, what is the likelihood of your shooting right when your round is 42 or 95? I believe it's easier to shoot when your target is 95%. And therefore, you can actually cover, ensure coverage of almost the entire market. And you may not even know the cryptocurrency uh, that will be in your portfolio. And who knows, maybe two, three years after, it will be in top three whereas today it is in top 100. And we simply know about this. And the conclusion to come is the following. Next slide. Why is smart portfolio? What does it do? It's not a trading board. It's not an algorithm that gives you some passive income. No, no way. The task of the smart portfolio is to make your work automatic with the top Binance exchange by using API keys. Why? To create a balanced crypto portfolio. And the key task of smart portfolio is to balance your funding in an accurate and credible way, efficient way, so that they match the situation on the market as is. And I'd like to warn you in case, so the market is volatile. There are ups and downs. 
Today it's growing, tomorrow it's declining. If you see that the market is declining, look, you bought a cryptocurrency or a share, any asset, and the money gets up. You bought it at 100 US dollars, whereas the Apple stock increased by 5% and the current price is 105 US dollars. Did you get your profits? Give me a plus if you have, if you gained your yield. If not, give me a minus. You bought a, a share at 100 US dollars and the price goes up. And now the current price is 105. Is there a yield? Give me a plus, please. So most people give me pluses, but my question was quite tricky. You don't have profits, no losses. Why? Because you have the capital. You bought an asset, you haven't sold it. The profits will be generated after selling it. And if you sell it at 105, US dollars, then your profit will be five. You buy it at 100, you sell it at 105, and you take profits of five. But if you sell it at 105, there will be another person waiting for another one, two days, and the price gets up, and it is 110 US dollars, and this person uh, sells it at 110 and the first guy his profits will be five us dollars whereas the profits of the other one will be 10 us dollars so profits are generated only after you're selling the um, asset do you understand when you take your profits when profit is generated give me 10 as an indication that it's clear that the profit is received when you sell your asset. And while you keep it, you have neither profit nor losses. Then I have another question. If at present the price of Bitcoin is about 56,000 and we invest into crypto market and we buy smart portfolio and on Binance we have the crypto portfolio with a lot of tokens in they go up down but we don't sell anything and the market is adjusted which means that the price the prices on the market are in decline so the market generally operates in waves in 2020, there was the lockdown and all the stock uh, reduced in price abruptly. And Bitcoin reached 4.5 thousand US dollars. If you bought it, if you buy it now, and then the market gets down and you don't sell. Do you have any loss? Do you have a loss? subject to such a scenario if there is a loss give me a minus if there is no loss give me zero there is a loss give me a minus so you bought smart portfolio a lot of tokens on binance and the market is getting down and if you have a loss give me a minus if there is no loss give me zero so the number of assets in your wallet doesn't change. So what changes is the value on the specific date. So today it's cheaper, tomorrow it's more expensive. Look, in the shops, the prices also change. Today you do shopping and there is one price, whereas you come back tomorrow and there is 25% discount uh, for Christmas. And you say, ah, this is my loss. No. So you bought a thing, an item. 
a phone, for instance, or a jacket or a sweater. So you use them and they are of your benefit. But some time after, this asset may get higher. And this is the reason to use the smart portfolio that is to buy tokens, top 100 tokens, which help us cover the entire crypto market. And if you buy all these tokens and the entire market uh, in its value is similar to one stock market, and it is very small compared to the stock market, and it is growing, it is developing, what is the likelihood that sooner or later you will get your profits? Use uh, the percentage scale from 1% to 100%. If now you buy some cryptocurrencies, in the mid medium term or long term perspective, five, 10 years, is it a good investment? Will you make money if today you buy the entire crypto market? You cover the entire crypto market. If you are 100% sure, give me 100. If you are doubtful, give me any other percentage of the likelihood. Use the percentage of the likelihood. So I see your 100%, 40%. So someone is doubtful that crypto industry will develop. And my task today is to work with those people who put down 40, 50% as I'm 100% sure that our pensions will be paid in cryptocurrencies. There is Domian. Tijani gave me 40%. Selva Malar, 30%. You are doubtful that crypto industry will develop as such, whereas all the others put down 100. And look, most people are certain that crypto industry will develop, whether you want it or not. You have the internet, you have a smartphone through which you connect to the internet. So please. Put down if you have internet connection, if you use a smartphone, they are new technologies. They came into our life quite recently, by the way. I strongly doubt that your parents had them, whereas now you use them. And look, there is a new technology, blockchain, and there is another interesting technology, electric cars. So do you believe that these technologies will grow and develop? So uh, in the chat, I shared the link to the previous uh, webinars of Ivan. So someone expects the average growth of the crypto market by 40 percent per annum but we may not be certain okay let's come back to our smart portfolio what does it do it makes your portfolio balanced and you will not miss anything because you cover 95% of this pie, delicious pie, that will grow even further. And this service allows you to balance your portfolio every 7, 14, 21, and 30 days. You set it up, you choose. And I'd like to uh, stress it. No leverage, no passive income, no trading. Its key role is to make you confident and sure 
that you own a highly balanced uh, crypto portfolio on Binance. Your funding on Binance is balanced in a way um, in line with the situation on the market. In case any token tomorrow is number two, and then in your portfolio, it will be more dominant than Ethereum. If you understand that smart portfolio gives you a great possibility to cover, to capture the entire market, give me nine, please. If you want to have 95% coverage of this market, give me 90 or nine. If you are lazy, if uh, you don't want to look for each token, read about each token, you simply get the product that will do this job instead of you. Okay, good. Let's move on. Next slide, please. Here we have a product which is called Smart Portfolio. Smart Portfolio is a service. It's not a robot. It's not a bot. This is a service, service provider. It doesn't do anything instead of you. It gives you a service of automatic balancing and building a balanced portfolio. And the price of this service is 1,200 US dollars per year. And there is the reduced license. So of 740 US dollars. So it's not top functional. You may capture only 30, top 30 cryptocurrencies that cover about 60% of the market and the balancing period is 21 days. And in addition to the service, it still needs money it will work with on the exchange. If you simply buy the service, it will be of no value. The service needs the funding to invest into cryptocurrencies. Therefore, it needs some funding on your Binance account. And to buy, top 30 cryptocurrencies, you must have at least 600 US dollars in your Binance account. This is the minimum threshold. You cannot go lower. Uh, you can go higher. The more money you have, the higher profits will be. In case you invest 1,000 US dollars into your uh, Binance account and uh, the market grows by 10%. So you invested 1,000 and there is 10% market growth. Uh, what is the yield you will get? 1,000 investment, 10% market growth. Give me the figure that will show the increase of your capital in your capital. Okay. 100, that's right. But in case, instead of 1,000 in your Binance account, you have 10,000. What is your gain? What is your yield? After 10% market growth, okay, 1,000. And the period is the same. The market is the same with the price of smart portfolio is 1,200. It means that the more money you top up to your Binance account, the higher your profits may be. If you understand this, put a plus in the chat. The more money is topped up to your Binance account, the higher your profits will be when you take it. When the amount is large, the result will be more prominent compared to a smaller amount topped up to your account. And why are these numbers? Top 100, 2,000. I will explain it. 2,000 
2,000 to be divided by 100, 2,000 US dollars to be divided by 100 cryptocurrencies equally. What is the share of each? Give me a number in the chat, please. You top up 2,000 to your account and divide them among the uh, cryptocurrencies. Yes, you are right, Jos, 20. But smart portfolio balances, it does not buy 100 currencies by investing 20 US dollars equally into each. It looks which um, currency is more prominent. For instance, it will invest 39 US dollar into a Bitcoin and one dollar to the last coin in the top. So he may invest 10, 15, depending on how prominent this or that token or coin is on the market. I hope it's clear. And most importantly, that this service does it automatically and calculates this automatically. Imagine how much time it will tell, take you to calculate 100 cryptocurrencies, to calculate the share of each and the amount to be invested into each. Can you easily do it on your own manually to estimate the capitalization of the cryptocurrencies if you can do it in two minutes? Do we have such almighty people who in two minutes will calculate the capitalization of hundreds uh, of hundred cryptocurrencies and the share of each one in their portfolio? So give me zero if there are no such people, skillful people, or in case we have those who are good at this and can do it, then give me five. And smart portfolio can do it in two seconds, two seconds. But can we find someone who agrees to do it for 100 US dollars a month. So if your balancing is done every seven, uh, every seven days, then this calculation and the, this buying or selling some coins will be done four times a week, four times a month. Do we have the one who would agree to do this job by being paid only 100 US dollars. You spent a lot of time. Do we have those who would like to do this job for the salary of 100 US dollars a month? I'm more than certain. So, if you believe that you would agree, I would actually give you this task. And look, only by paying 100 US dollars a month, you get an analyst a month. And this is purely math. It analyzes, it relies on a lot of data and makes your portfolio balanced uh, on Binance. So in two seconds, and you stay calm and understand that you have an ideally balanced crypto portfolio. Therefore, you need 2,000 so that it may make your portfolio balanced by capturing uh, 100, uh, top 100 cryptocurrencies. It needs at least 1,500 if your coverage is top 50 and 600 top 30. So you may buy this shortened version at 740 US dollars and top up your Binance account with 600. And the minimum account amount to be invested is 1,800. Do you know what is the price of the new branded car 
in your countries. So what is the price, more or less, of a totally new branded car from a car saloon? Can you buy a new car at 200? So it is about 20,000, 30,000, 15,000 US dollars. So a very simple car may be bought at 10,000 US dollars, but you would never buy a classic car at uh, a low price. And the same applies to this product. It has its minimum. If you have no minimum amount, then don't take a loan. Don't sell your car. Don't sell your flat. Don't borrow. You may earn this money by selling licenses. As our licenses, 1,200 US dollars or 740 US dollars. And there is the upgrade. You may pay in addition 460. So you buy the first shortened license at 740 US dollars, then you earn your money and you uh, top up the extra 460 to have the coverage of top 100 cryptocurrencies. And to start earning through selling the licenses, you don't need to sell the to buy the license on your own. If you have no money, but you have a referral link, you have webinars, you have information. If you sell in a store some fertilizers, you sell fertilizers in a store, agricultural shop. Do you actually need to produce and use these fertili fertilizers or not? It is enough for you to sell them. I hope you understand that you don't definitely need to own the product you sell because not every uh, car dealer, so the one who sells Bentley or BMW, drives this BMW. You can simply know how this product works how to use it, you may know, uh, you may have the knowledge about crypto industry, what Bitcoin is, how to register on Binance. This knowledge could be commercialized. How? You may simply tell a person that he may get a balanced portfolio on Binance. And for this, you have a service with a price of 1200 a year. And that is, and for your information, should you one year ago bought a smart portfolio and invested 2000 to your Binance account, now you would have about 20000 out of 2000 invested if you bought this product one year ago. Why? because the market grew. One year ago, it, Bitcoin's price was about 15,000 US dollars, whereas today it is 50,000. Do you understand how much the market grew? And if you understand that it is not compulsory for you to buy smart portfolio, but you can make money by selling it, give me six in the chat. Put down the number six. Thank you, Dennis. And do you understand that the money you earn could be topped up to your Binance account? And this way, you actually follow the first rule of a private investor, save aside 
uh, 10% and invest more. So you sell this license, get from 60 to 90 US dollars as your income. So from each license sold, you earn up to 100 US dollars. And a part of this money could be topped up to your Binance account uh, and invested into your smart portfolio. And give me four if you understand this, that you can do it from your crypto uh, wallet and send it to Global Unit Pay and then transfer it to the exchange. Okay, great. Now, there is another interesting piece of news. Well, in case our World CIU token includes top 100 cryptocurrencies, imagine our World CIU token includes all the top 100 cryptocurrencies, will the token grow? And if you believe that it will push its price, then give me two. If you understand the, there is a world CIU and inside there is top 100 cryptocurrencies, these top 100 cryptocurrencies go up, then the price of world CIU will go up. Great. So a part of the funding raised through selling this service will be invested into the purchase of top 100 cryptocurrencies that will be managed by this service. So a part of money will be received by you uh, for selling this service. A part of the money will be earned by the vendor. And a part of the sales will go to our world CIU. And the money you earn could be topped up to Binance account. And the service will multiply it by balancing them on your um, Binance account. Okay. I think that it is clear to everyone. Next slide, please. This is an easy example. So this is the actual work of service since the 16th of June this year until the 4th of September this year there was a market, a, a, a market decline. So the, and in the chart, you see that the market went down. But in this situation, the lower the price is, the better the buying is. It's like a discount. We know that sooner or later, crypto market will grow. Therefore, the lower the price, the better it is for us, as you may buy more at a lower price. And over the period of this price decline, in this case, the user was stopping up extra money to Binance account. And over the entire period, he topped up the account with six. 1591 and the price of the service is 1200 it means that over this period a person invested 7791 us dollars a part was a fee for a smart portfolio and the remainder is invested into his account and on the 4th of september its capital on binance account was valued 9,676. And now I have a question. Please recall what we discussed in the beginning. Does he have profit? Give me one if he has and zero if he ha has no. Does this guy generate any profit? Give me one if he does and zero if he doesn't. Please remember what I told you at the beginning of the webinar. 
you didn't sell this asset yet. Selva Malar, you are right. I believe that Jos Van Diepen, you are also right. There are no profits. Why? Because you haven't sold this asset yet. You haven't taken your profit yet. You haven't withdrawn this funding. So this funding is still on Binance account. Do you understand? Therefore, he has neither profit nor loss. So his capital simply increased the money he took out of his po pocket. In this case, this is 7,791. In this case, um, in this example, it turned into 9,676. And in case this guy sells his portfolio and gets this money withdrawn onto his bank account, then he will get the profit. And until then, he has neither loss nor profit. In this example, you see that the capital increased and in this over this period you may take either 1000 or 2000 in profits you may click the button set sell the portfolio and get 1000 in profits and make it transfer to your account as soon as you transfer this money from your Binance account to any bank account or anywhere else, this will be your profits. Without doing this, your capital is simply growing. What you bought, once bought, is getting more expensive. For instance, you bought a land plot or any real estate in a good promising neighborhood and your initial investment was 100,000 US dollars. And then there are some shops, there, are, uh, there is the underground. And in this neighborhood, the housing prices go up. And do you have more money or less money? Do you have more flats, more apartments? Do you have more square meters? What happens? Your apartment costs more expensive, higher. Instead of 100,000, it costs more, but you don't have this money. And what do you need to do for you to get your profits? You need to, what do you need to do? You need to, to take your profits, to sell right you are. If it is clear to everyone in order to take your profits, you need, first of all, to sell your asset. So you get the profits after selling the asset. Then you have your profits. Without selling your asset, you simply see the standing of your asset as is today. Today's price is as high. Tomorrow it may be different. Tomorrow it may be less. And uh, two days after, it would be higher and it will be volatile. Our task here is to create our financial plan. This is rule number three of the private investor. Follow your financial plan and at a specific moment when it is beneficial, you take your profits you may top up money to Binance account. And as soon as it gets up, you take your profits. You get some profits, but if you wait longer, then the profits will be more. In case tomorrow, the cryptocurrency market, I will ask you such a question. Can over a month crypto market industry grow by 10 times over one month. Can it? 
Can it grow as high as 10 times? Put a plus if it can, put a minus if it can't. Crypto market, 10 times growth. 1,000 in a month, the entire market. Look, crypto market is developing. Yes, it is developing. But can it have the quantum jump over a short period of time? Short period of time. Can the crypto market over one month abruptly rise by 10 times? Not 10%, 20%, 30%. But can it rise by 1,000% or 10,000% over a short period of time? So you are strong believers, but it is quite unlikely. There could be some growth, but not very high. So in the best situation, it would double. Whereas over 10 years, believe me, over 10 years, cryptocurrency, crypto industry will increase much more than um, tenfold. Long-term perspective, crypto market in March, in July, in July. Since July until now, over four months, crypto market grew only, uh, so doubled, only doubled in four months. Over the last four years, it doubled. Whereas in one month, it would never grow tenfold. Whereas in 10 years, it would grow by 10, 20, 30 times. If you understand this, give me 10, put 10 in the chat. If you understand that in long-term perspective, the crypto market will grow much more than over the short-term run. There will be one day growth, intraday growth, weekly growth, but the longer the time is, the higher the growth will be. Okay. And please put down in the chat the following. What is the best way to use smart portfolio for a short term run or longer term run? If you believe that you'd better use it for short-term investment, give me one. If you believe that it's better to be used for longer-term run, give me five. This instrument is mid-term investment, long-term investment. You may get your profits tomorrow and you may get uh, the decline tomorrow, but you will have neither profit nor loss until you sell your portfolio. Okay, next slide, please. These are the examples of our partners who already use this product, this service, and as you see, the higher the initial investment is, the higher the result is. Some of them see the um, decline. Why? Because there was the market decline. For instance, a person enters the exchange and there is a decline, but it is temporary. But all these people have neither profit nor loss. Why? Because they haven't sold the asset yet and they haven't withdrawn any money from the Binance account. Therefore, neither profits nor loss. Next slide. 
there are some other examples, fresh examples. And here you see the spreadsheets to keep records of the performance of your portfolio. And I'd like to note that, first of all, a person has minus 45%, whereas in the end, there is 1.67% growth. These spreadsheets also take into takes into account the fee of the service as the service so this this service shows what it has on binance and in addition to it you may actually top up your money you may reset your service and it will not always reflect these green figures may not be correct compared to the money you would spend. Therefore, I prepared a separate spreadsheet and as part of the training provided by the uh, United by the Academy of Private Investor, it includes everything for you to keep record and to track the performance of your portfolio so that you understand your original investment, the fee of this service, and the increase in your capital, and how much profit you would like to take and withdraw to your pocket. These spreadsheets will help you. There are partners who already run it, and I show this. Next slide, please. Only actions will lead you to your results, will take you to your results. No matter how long you study crypto industry, no matter how many books you read, until you have your cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin in particular, you will never understand how it works. The easiest way to acquire experience is to try. No matter how long you study how to swim when you are ashore, you will never start swimming until you are in the water. And therefore, what you need to do to try this product. Again, I'd like to warn you right away that when you buy this product, Smart Portfolio License, you actually, you buy and this service is yours. What you do, whether you uh, use it or not use it, um, so the crypto unit company has no responsibility. So therefore, to avoid a situation that you buy this service and due to any reason, you are not legitimate to have a Binance account so that you buy a service, but you cannot take use of it. The first thing is to set up a Binance account. You register there, verify, top up your money, create API keys. And first of all, go through all the procedures of Binance. When you can have an account as this uh, exchange, has no dealings with our company. So we have some video tutorials and there are some people who can actually can help you. But first of all, you start dealing with Binance and only then buy the service from the back office. And if it is clear, please put a plus. If you are sure and if you are clear what to start from. Thank you, Joss. So, smart portfolio could not be replaced, could not be returned. Per one purchase, you may attach to it one Binance account. And 
when everything is fine with the Binance account, then you actually buy this product and you set up its work. So in the back office, you will find these buttons, learn more. Here is the link of the webinars I made. By clicking this button, you will get to the playlist and there are webinars of two, one and a half hours long with a lot of information. Watch them, don't be lazy as those people who complain in the chats, they are not satisfied with something. The experience suggests that they didn't study anything. So first of all, please study and re-watch these recordings of the webinars. There is such a rule of a private investor. Always learn more about investing. Then you have another button, instructions for working with smart portfolio, instructions in different languages, verifications on Binance, um, re registration on Binance, some other instructions will be added and at the bottom, you have the slide blue uh, button, a link to smart portfolio profitability table spreadsheets. So you simply use this link, you copy paste it onto your disk. Don't try to fill it in immediately. As I receive requests to provide access, no, this is the uh, template you may use. Copy it onto your Google disk and then do with the spreadsheets anything you like. So all the information is available. Don't be lazy. Study and explore more. And in the end, I'd like to discuss and repeat with you once again what you can do when crypto market crashes. It's natural state. It goes up and down, ups and down. And there are three major strategies to follow. What to do when your market gets when the market gets down. The first strategy is simply wait because sooner or later the market will grow in price. In 2017, the price of Bitcoin was 20,000, 20,000 literally per one Bitcoin, then it went up and within three years, it did not grow. Whereas now it's doubled, tripled compared to what it was in 2017. But for this, you had to wait. By the way, please tell me how long did we have to wait for Bitcoin to grow higher than 20,000? So give me the time we had to wait when in 2017, 2017, it was 20,000. And the next time it hit this record of 20,000 was, was, was in 2020. How many years do we have to wait? Three years, Dennis, not months, but years. As firstly, it was 20,000 in 2017, and the next time it was 20,000 again was in 2020. So, look, you may actually don't wait, and as you see that there is a trend of crashing, you may sell it. Why not? So look, you may sell your portfolio actually, and the market will reverse and go up. So therefore, this is a risky strategy. My personal strategy, and I like it a lot, is accumulation. The lower the asset gets down, the more I buy extra. And when in 2017, I saw 20,000, and then you see in this chart, the market crashed, 
I then understood that sooner or later it will grow up. Definitely it would. And when it reduced to 3,500, so it was 20,000, and then it dropped down to 3,500. 83% decline. And then at this lowest level, I bought extra Bitcoins. And then I was in a rush. I did not get a loan. I did not borrow my money. I did not sell anything. I was saving and the maximum amount of money earned was invested into Bitcoin. It was in 2019. And at the same time, in 2009, I bought not only Bitcoin at its lowest, but there was another, Bitcoin, another token. There was a plan to create another token. And can you guess the... The name in 2019, there was a program started which said that there would be a cool token created with a great potential. Crew нас написали. Yes, you are right. CIU. CIU. Andrei Havratov said what he's going to do. And blockchain with its token uh, came up only two years after. But back then, I understood what blockchain is, what cryptocurrencies are. And this is the reason I have the result. Not because I sold, uh, sorry, I bought cheap, but because I knew others didn't know. And therefore, I encourage you to actually study, learn more, so that you understand what to expect next. And look, here is the picture. This is the result of my actions. Over this time, I did not look how much it cost. Five, 10,000, 6,000, then 7,000, then again 6,000, then 10,000, then 7,000. Over this time, I was accumulating more and more and more. But unfortunately, I accumulated Bitcoin and Ethereum. They were top. But I saw so many uh, cryptocurrencies, tokens, and there were poor quality investments. I invested into tokens which afterwards screwed up, uh, scammed. And there were some uh, top um tokens, whereas now they disappeared, whereas now the top includes those coins, the, those cryptocurrencies, which did not uh, exist back then. And my experience, and I see this product, Smart Portfolio, and what does it do? It was enough for me, uh, so 15 seconds was enough for me to understand that I will buy this product and I will use it. I bought it. I started to use it and I realized that it ideally matches our concept and our strategy of the Academy of Private Investor. And it took me three months to chase Andre to show him that this tool could be very valuable for our community, our people. So the only thing to do is to train our community to use it properly, adequately. Well, to sum up, hopefully this session was interesting, was useful. If you have some questions, maybe something is still not clear. I will devote some time to your questions so that you have all the answers.
all the questions answered and right away please put down in the chat if this webinar was useful and it answered all your questions and you are ripe to buy such a product do we have such people whose questions are fully answered and you are ready to buy and use such a product give me 10 in the chat Okay, so now, Ibrahim, thank you for your 10 and all the others. But if you still have some questions, please put them down here in the chat box so that we may translate it for Ivan and your question will be answered. But the questions must be about smart portfolio only. But what may happen if I top up more than 2000 to my Binance account? The more you top up, the better it is. Look, you top up 2000 and there is another person who top up 20,000. And there is the market, 10% market growth. The smart portfolio will distribute this funding among cryptocurrencies. It doesn't care how much you have on your account. So what matters is that it's not less than the threshold. And the more money you have, the higher your profit will be in case the market changes. When there is a decline of the growth, when there is a decline, we will simply wait. But in case there is 10% market growth, and smart portfolio grows by 15% as it has algorithm, it is balanced and the market grows by 10%. And if you top up 2,000, 15% plus, it will be 300 US dollars. But in case you top up 20,000, then your profit will be 3,000, 3,000, you may take it as your profits, whereas the other person could take as the profits only 300. If you top up 200,000, you may top up 1 million. So 1 million and uh, it will rebalance it and 15% market growth you will get 150,000 as your yield. And the market is either correcting, we are going up or down. And if you buy this product and market gets down, then you may wait. But if it gets up, you may generate the profits. The next question, please. But in case Bitcoin gets down, do we need to wait? Yes, one of the strategies. One of the strategies is to wait, but my recommendation, how I would act, If I personally have a possibility, then with every decline, I would buy more and more, top up extra money to Binance account if I have some spare money. For instance, I get my salary, 10% is set aside, and I look at the market. If it declines, then I will top up to my Binance account invest into more tokens. I know that sooner or later it will grow up. And my task is to wait for the good increase. And then I will take my profits. 
when the market gets down, you understand in case Bitcoin gets down, it's beneficial to buy Bitcoin at a cheaper price. Is it a good um, decision to buy Bitcoin at a cheaper price? Put a plus if you believe. But when we talk about some unknown cryptocurrencies, top 150, top 70, then here we may be doubtful. There are a lot of doubts. We are not certain that this cryptocurrency has any future. Therefore, when there is the decline, so you are not guaranteed that this currency will go up. But if you buy the smart portfolio, smart portfolio actually uh, frees us from the need to monitor the performance of those tokens that are today in top 100. The next question, please. I know that it's not the topic of this webinar, but could you please share your views about the price, the current price of CIU and UNTB? Yes, it's not the topic of this webinar. If I top up more money to Binance to rebalance, do I need to stop algorithm? Yes. If you have rebalancing every seven days, you may top up money on Binance. Then on a particular day, smart portfolio will uh, get the money topped up in addition and will rebalance, or you may do it manually. Then you stop your portfolio and click the button rebalance. Then it will get the money you topped up extra and will rebalance it again. So if you want to do it right away, you can do it. But my experience shows how would I behave. Uh, so I would use it for medium term and long term perspective. I don't care what happens today, tomorrow, this week. I am interested in a horizon of one, two, three years. Therefore, therefore, you may go and press the button rebalance. I am lazy. I am saving my time so that I can have more value in other areas. I clearly know that smart portfolio seven day after will redistribute it. So I top up to the account and do not even go to the Binance because I know that the money is in my account and seven days after it will be rebalanced. I simply keep records in these spreadsheets. And when the market goes up, if I need, I know that on Binance account, I always have money. And anytime, for instance, invest consultant training course or prof investor, Category three, the current price is 125. I go to my smart portfolio and I see, wow, I have some gain. Can I use this gain? Yes, I can. Then I withdraw this gain, take my profit and use this profit to pay for my training course. And the remaining part is still on account and it is in the portfolio. So I top up Binance account, and my strategy is I almost hardly ever touch it. I earn money. Look, I invite partners. I sign up partners, new partners. 
I make presentations, trainings, work with new partners and work money actively through the affiliate program like um, you do. So I work uh, on the money I earned actively with all my most of my passive income is reinvested into stock market, crypto market, real uh, real estate. And every month I buy out on the market up to 1,000 CIUs. Ibrahim, this is your question. Do you need to renew the, start, uh, the smart portfolio license every year? Yes, you do need to renew it. If you bought this license one year ago and top up 2000 to your Binance account, then right now you would have about 15, 20,000 US dollars. Do you understand? You invested 2000. And now you would have 15, 20,000 without doing anything. Is it a good performance? If you like it, no one in investing will guarantee that one year after you will have the same result. It may be different. It may be higher or lower. So it does not depend on the smart portfolio, but the crypto market, whether it grows or doesn't grow. And we as investors might, must understand why it grows. Do you understand that quite soon our retirement benefits will be paid in crypto and all the payments will be made in crypto? Tokenized shares will be on blockchain and blockchain technologies will develop. If you understand this, then we can say for sure that it will uh, it will grow ibrahim if i answered your question give me five in the chat look i believe it will be the link to this webinar could be found on YouTube channel in different languages on crypto unit blockchain channel. By the way, in black office, there is a button learn more. You go to CIU back office and there you click learn more and there you will find all the links to the webinars, believe me. Uh, so the knowledge accumulated there was more than 1,200 US dollars. So use the scale from one to 100, whether this webinar was useful, whether you learned something which you could not understand before, use the scale from one to 100. Do I understand that each of you would be ready to pay 100 US dollars to me for this training? So counting the Spanish speaking chat, I will be able to earn 700 Oscar. So and hundred from uh, the Russian speaking chat, it means that I virtually earned 1000 by giving value to it. So the price to redo your license yearly is the same. So the price will not change 1,200. But most importantly, you must understand that you will not pay this 1,200 the second year. You will take the profits from Binance and will buy the license, redo the, the license. 
And since the crypto assets will grow in price, you may take your profits and that is. Can you buy it only in US dollars? Look, you top up your back office as you wish. As far as I understand, you may top up with crypto, with global unit pay, and quite soon in global unit pay, there will be USDU, USDU and all the payments will be done through global unit pay. By the way, I ordered a physical card. If you didn't do it, do it, please. So, Dennis, could you please paraphrase your work, oh, your question? I always knew we need to work with the tokens. What do you understand by the word work with? Can you briefly elaborate why it is so important? This is your question. Zarabatovic. Look, actually, Dennis, I believe you've answered your, uh, your question yourself. Tokens are prototypes of shares. For me, tokens and stocks on the stock market are quite similar. They reflect the success or failure of some industry, of some team of developers, or some projects, some businesses, and etc. We do investing. And what is the goal? To implement your dream. If you have you can share your dreams, by the way. My dream right away is to make my town an investment city, an investment capital of my country so that people do not leave it, but people come into it and people could uh, earn more and more money so that there are business centers constructed, water parks. I don't need to go to Dubai to water parks or to Disney World. My children may cross the road and go to the Disney World. This is my dream. And to implement it, I need a lot of money. And the easiest way is to learn investing. And the average, uh, the average salary uh, in my country is about 350. And you know, in 30 years, uh, almost none of them would earn one million. But investing your knowledge and cryptocurrency sector is the most dynamically and quickly developing sector. Oil and gas sector, real estate sector, stock market, they are well-developed niches. They are well-regulated, whereas crypto sector as such would develop and every day something interesting happens on it. It develops and it's quite similar. Remember how fast button telephone um, start developing as soon as this mobile telecom industry started to develop. Can you remember, recall the times, put a plus if you recall it. So you buy your first button phone, so quite old, black and white. 
and your friend, for instance, two weeks after has a totally new um, example, whereas today, actually, uh, Apple releases new iPhones, and they're quite similar from outside and even from inside. Uh, tiny changes and there is a new uh, version and crypto market is quite similar to the telecom market at the very beginning of its development there is so much released very interesting things and you do not use the smart phone compared to the first button phone you had but how long did it happen um, how long did it take uh, so what is the time difference between your first phone and your smartphone you use today? And crypto industry gives you a possibility to reach your goal very quickly. But I believe... And there is some insider information. All my partners who invest in different domains, including stock market, crypto market, CIU tokens, UNTB tokens, I tell them all one thing. When you buy Bitcoin, you will earn a lot over the next three, five years. Buy Bitcoin. Within the next three, five years, you will get richer. That's for sure. You would get much richer than without Bitcoin. But you will buy your yurt with your UNTB, CIU, or World CIU. Do you understand? Or an island, a desert island. You cannot buy it with Bitcoins. Bitcoins will allow you to earn a lot, whereas our tokens will make you a well-off person, truly well-off person. Because now you may not buy Bitcoin at the price less than one cent, whereas once its price was less than one cent. So the first official transaction of Bitcoin per one US dollar, you would buy 1,390. So its price was less than the price of one CIU today. And those who bought it, they were those who sold it. And they were those who didn't. They bought and waited. And which strategy was better? those who sold or those who didn't sell and keep their bitcoins over the entire period until now. Do we have any further questions? I see that there are no questions in our English speaking chat. If we do have, this is the last chance. Please quickly type in. If you not, then I will inform Ivan that it is done. Okay, so Mauricio, next Monday, I believe, not 7 p.m., but a bit later. Look, do you like such a format of this uh, smart portfolio webinar for the local community? So if you like such a format, local format, local webinar, then we would have more webinars of this format. If you like it, so then give me 10. If you vote for international format when everyone is in invited, then give me five. So 10, if it is, if you vote for local format and five um, international format. So that we will do it this way, so that I can explain very slowly for everyone and to be interactive with you. Okay, I understand that there are no questions. If, uh, um, so Maurizio, we will prepare more questions.
questions by the next Monday, by next Monday. And it would be great if in advance you will collect from your partners major questions of their concern. And then we will actually answer them. I believe you have your language group chat. So please collect the questions if there are any, and then I will answer them all. And the last question I'd like to take it here, by the way, there was a question that a person doesn't know that this is the topic of this webinar. So your personal view about the standing of CIU and our tokens. My answer is the following. What Andrei Havratov made, Andrei Havratov, I believe, made one mistake. He was too generous in the beginning. It was his mistake, major mistake. For you to understand, all the other tokens on blockchain I analyze, I look how they develop. They all distribute uh, tokens for free to attract audience. So there are different forms, um, pre-sale, crowdfunding, ICO, different ways to do it. But one third tokens to the large audience in, so in uh, most cases, 10, 15% is distributed for free at pre-sale, whereas Andre distributed almost 35 billion out of 80 billion. And they are all in the hands of the people, not in the company, but in the hands of the users. And unfortunately, over two years, those people who got uh, them as a bonus and under the affiliate program without doing anything, they bought so many tokens that even if we sell them now, I monitor one top wallet, someone is selling it for pennies. So yesterday, yesterday, there were seven, 190,000 CIU tokens were topped up to the exchange and sold. If a person enters and sold so many tokens on the exchange, it impacts the price. But if you calculate all his tokens, he earns 10 times more than spent every month. He gets as much money as he didn't invest in the company over two years, even subject to this price, he earns much more. And whether you want it or no, until there is a balance between the sellers and the buyers, the situation will not change. For the situation to change, we need more people to learn about the opportunities our company has, the products the company offers, People use global unit pay, buy smart portfolio, buy Evasent. When new people come, they would not look at CIU token UNTB. I don't tell people about our tokens. I tell them about smart portfolio, invest consultant, Evasent. They come in, they say it's interesting, they start buying. And only after I tell them, look, we have tokens. If you want, you can buy. Do you see? When the number of buyers is more than the number of sellers, the situation would change. A person who today sells 700,000 tokens, he got them almost for free. So he paid pennies. So for him, it costs it cost 100 US dollars, whereas now it is about six to 8,000 US dollars. So he invested originally 100, whereas now 
he sells it at six, eight thousand US dollars. But not every partner, by the way, I talk to people, not every partner may afford to invest six or eight thousand. And even if a person is knowledgeable, he would not never buy a one token at the price of six thousand. He would at least diversify and buy several tokens. And this is the adequate offer to him is to offer him a smart portfolio. You may buy top 100 cryptocurrencies on Binance for uh, 3,600 and invest another 2,000 into our CIUs. So when you explain to your partner why token will cost expensive, he will buy it even when the price gets down. Ask yourself a question. Uh, do we have people here who would buy Bitcoin if its price gets down? If Apple shares will get down, will you buy them and why? Why? Quite likely because you know that it will grow up eventually. And this is the reason you would buy it because global unit pay there is the exchange, there is smart portfolio, there is EvaSend. So there is NDE. Behind our tokens, we have some assets. We have a lot of tools, a lot of functional products, non-blockchain that is operational today. Does Bitcoin have its own payment system? Does Ethereum has its own crypto uh, payment provider? Uh, neither Bitcoin nor Ethereum. Binance has only exchange and blockchain. This is what they have. They have no payment provider. So they have their cards, master cards, but uh, they don't have such a tool as global unit pay. Do they have on Binance the professional educational company? Do they have? Do they? educational professional company like the academy of private investor no simply some tutorials video tutorials does binance train people in professional trading no they don't but we have artem kabanov who trains us in professional trading and therefore i know the token will earn uh, will cost a lot and the reason of this situation is that uh, many people got these tokens for free. And because Andrei Havrata was too generous in the very beginning, and it impacts us negatively. I tried to help Andrei Havrata because I am an investor like we all, and I see what is going on in my company. And this is my company. Do you remember once Armand told us the difference between an investor, a shareholder, and a co-owner? I am a co-owner of Global Unit Pay. I treat myself as a co-owner of Unitex Exchange. I feel that I am a co-owner of Crypto Unit Blockchain and uh, uh, Unitex Exchange. Therefore, I want to help. I take this spade and start digging the field. I start buying now tokens. I don't scream and uh, scrutinizing everyone saying that you are bad because you didn't pay my money. You did not, you do not pay my dividends. I started to do something. I found some tools. I started to deliver webinars. I feel responsible for what is going on with our assets, our shared assets. And there is another question to ask. To say you buy Apple stock, the company pays dividends. It's a great company, actually. If you believe that it is a credible, great company and it pays dividends, put a plus in the chat. 
and then ask yourself a question. When you see that the company is in troubles, will you be given a chance to do something? No one, never will give you a chance to change the operations of Apple. And only here in this company, each of you may offer a solution, take responsibility and help the company to resolve this problem. Therefore, it all, everything is in our hands. Thank you for your attention and may the financial force stay with you. Bye-bye and we'll see you soon.